Hey guys, welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra, your Bitcoin wallet experts. And today we'll be talking about Trezor wallet. In the earlier video series, we talked about unboxing video of Trezor. I've showed you how to start using Trezor, how to use the Trezor interface. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can reset your Trezor to factory setting. You can do this for multiple purpose. Like let's say first time when you're using Trezor, you just want to try it. When the first time I was setting up my Trezor, I took a backup on A4 sheet rather than on the recovery sheet so that, you know, I would test demo this wallet before actually start using it. So that's number one use case. Number two use case, let's say you stored some Bitcoin and you have taken the backup of the seed word. Now you want to store more Bitcoin, but on a new wallet, like it should not be related to your old wallet. So what you can do is like you can keep your seed word safe at the secure place. You can reset your Trezor and configure this as a new device. This way you can use multiple wallet in Trezor. Well, that's about it. And I'm pretty sure you can think of more use cases. So without further delay, let me show you how to reset your Trezor to factory setting. So very first thing you need to do is you need to connect your Trezor to your laptop using USB cable. So once it connected and started, it would show you the label on the screen. Now go to wallet.trezor.io and whenever you connect your Trezor, it would ask you to enter the pin. So here you need to enter the pin. So let's quickly enter the pin. And then that's it. Like the interface would load and now you can reset your Trezor wallet. Here is how you do it. Here you can see it's still loading. So once it's loaded, click on edit device basics and here go to advanced and you can see this option here called wipe device. So use this option and your Trezor wallet will be reset to the factory setting. Let's quickly do that. You need to confirm the device reset from your hardware wallet. It's giving the option. I'm not pretty sure if you can see this or not, but yeah, here we go. That's it. Your Trezor wallet is successfully wiped. Let's remove the device. And it says, would you like Trezor wallet to forget your old device with the old data or to remember it? Let's forget it because we are configuring this as a new device. And then you simply connect your device again and configure it as a new device or as an old device. That's your choice. Well, that's how you reset your Trezor wallet. And if you have any question about Trezor wallet or any Bitcoin hardware wallet, feel free to let us know. Uh, we will see you in the next video. This was your host Harsh Agarwal from Coinsutra.com. You can browse our website from the link in the description. You can also check out the detailed review of Trezor wallet by clicking the link in the description. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.